everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have a Christmas season project for you. This week over on my blog, I'm featuring the Christmas uh, season bundle. And we're gonna make this little candy holder using the largest die there in the set. That's gonna be the front and the back. Um, we're also gonna use this one right here for that guy. Um, this set also has all the the dies to cut out the images. We're using Christmas to remember for the sentiment, and then here's the Christmas season images. We're gonna use the holly, we're gonna use the smaller sprig, and we're gonna use the berries. All right, let's do our stamping first, then we'll, we will bring over the cut and emboss machine and do all of our cutting. We've got quite a bit of cutting to do. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in real red. We'll do that one down here in the corner. Okay, we're gonna stamp these berries also. These berries um, have a stem for them to go with. See the stem right there? So the die is gonna cut out the stem, but we're just gonna trim it off because we just want the berries. All right, we'll do the berries right there. And then we're gonna do the holly leaves in garden green. We'll do those over here. And last but not least, we will do that stem, which is right here, in crumb cake. Now, you can see how that image is kind of not all the way solid. It's designed that way. See if you look right here. Um, they, I, they are designed really to kind of look like a watercolor images. So they're not all, real crisp and sharp like you might expect them to be, but that's the look. Um, of the stamp set, that's the way it's designed to be. All right, so we're gonna cut those out. We're also gonna cut out the front and back of our box. And I'm gonna actually adhere this piece of um, designer series paper to a piece of real red. That way I can cut them out at the same time, okay? And then we'll cut one out of just a plain piece of red. You'll see what I'm gonna do here in a second. That may not totally makes sense right now, but it will. All right, let's do all of our stamped images first, all right? We need the holly leaves right there. We need the little stem. There's a, there's a big long stem and a little stem. Um, we're just using the little one. All right, and then here are our berries. Actually, I lied. There is a there is a die to cut out just the berries, but there's a die to cut out the berries on the stems also. All right, and then we're gonna put this right here, and I'm gonna move it kind of so the sentiment is over to the right. That way we can put our little cluster of goodies on the left side. All right, run that through. These will all fit in your little cut and emboss machine, your mini. Um, but because I'm doing so many, I'm using my big one so that I can do more at once. All right, let's get all of these off and then bring over our other two pieces. Remember we had that piece that I adhered, I glued, I stuck. <laughs> What's the right word? I stuck down. We're gonna cut that piece out. Let's go back this way since it's two layers. Okay, there we go. The reason I put cardstock behind it is to make it more sturdy. And then we'll do the back side. I didn't put designer series paper on the back side. You are more than welcome to do this, the same thing on the back side. All right, now while we have these here, we're gonna cut these little slots in them. Let me show you these slots right here. See these, sometimes you might see these with a die set and say, what in the world is that? Well, it's a slot for ribbon. So we're gonna cut that out of both of these so that we can run some ribbon through. Let's make them straight. Uh, let's see. It's hard to make things perfect and straight when you're on a video. There we go. Mm, no, let's get my take your pick tool. Just a little bit, there, I think that's better. Carefully lay your plate down, run those through, and 
voila, we have slots for our ribbon. All right, so now we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna turn it over so we can see exactly. That paper is so busy, it's gonna be hard to see exactly where these go. And um, making them straight too. Oh, goodness, I do better when I use my take your pick tool. Bump, bump, a little bit, there we go. Okay, if you're worried about them slipping, put some post-it tape down to hold them in place. It will not rip your paper. I'll have that linked on my blog post for you because I use that tape a lot with these dies. Okay, now we're gonna make the inside part of our box. So let me grab my Simply Scored. You're gonna need a piece of real red that measures, let me look at my notes, two and a half by seven and a half. And we're gonna, on the short side, score it at half an inch and at two, and then two and a half and five. Okay, this is just gonna be a U-shaped box on the inside of our two shapes. So I'm gonna just cut off the score lines like that in a V, okay? That's gonna help our box go together a little bit better. And you can fill this box with any kind of candy. I have kind of a mixed bag of candy here. Um, I used, uh, I didn't design it for anything specifically, so I just filled it with a variety of candy that I have. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, let's see, I think, no, I think we'll just use um, stamp and seal for the sake of the video. You're gonna wanna use probably to make sure it doesn't come loose, stamp and seal plus or tear and tape or even Tombow liquid glue. All right, now I'm gonna fold these up into the sides, making sure they're nice and square. Okay, a little sticky. And there we go. Okay, so there's your inside of your box. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna adhere this. I'm gonna have it a little bit higher than the bottom, okay? Just a little bit. And before I stick it, I wanna look at this side. Yeah, I did pretty good. You want it centered both on the bottom and on the sides, and then you can press that adhesive down in there. Now I'll take your other piece, and I like to do it like this, so that I make sure that they are even on the bottom. And let's take a look. Yep, all right, press it all in. Okay, now for those, those uh, little slots that we did, we're gonna kind of um, thread this ribbon all the way through. All right, and I'm gonna tie a bow on the right side. This is our real red sheer ribbon. It's a really great ribbon. Great for um, presents also, if you like to add ribbon to your presents. It ties really nicely and it's light and kind of airy. I like it a lot. All right, so now let's, isn't that cute? Cut those off, that, that one needs to be a little bit shorter. And now let's bring back all of our pieces and we're gonna put them all together on here. Um, we're gonna use dimensionals, of course. Put that right there. Let's see, I'm gonna pull that bow over just a little bit. Put that right there. Okay, and then we'll start putting these. I think we will do, um, let's use, do I have my many dimensionals. All of my adhesive has disappeared. I'm not sure <laughs> if it fell behind the table or if one of my kids came in. 
and helped themselves to my adhesive. I probably should say it fell before I blame them, right? Sometimes that happens. Okay, we've got that. We're gonna take these little berries, which I would really like to put on with a mini dimensional, but we'll just do it like this. I want to scoop that a little bit over like that. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna put adhesive on the front like that so that I can slide it back and adhere it to the back of that label. Let's see if I can press that up into there. And there we have it. Now let's put some candy. I've got one of these larger Ghirardelli peppermint barks from the Dollar Tree. I've got a Hershey Santa from Target. I've got one of these, a Loker Mini. I think that's what they're called. I get those from Amazon. And then a couple of little Kit Kats. And wow, there you go. Isn't that a fun treat. Boy, I would love to receive all that candy. All right. Now, see, I use different designer series paper, but all the patterns from the Painted Christmas DSP would be great. All right. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Hop back over to my blog. There's a free PDF with those measurements that you need, as well as a supply list and two other Christmas season projects. I hope you'll make this, guys, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, and Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.